Hey guys, it's Osas from Iowa Softmodder, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the most effective task reminder that I've seen. Um, it's called Yelling Mom. It's available for free in the Play Store, and I guess the name comes from the premise that your mom is probably your best reminder because she'll nag you until you actually do it. So, this is a gesture based task reminder app. And you can see right here, when you first install it, it'll give you a little walkthrough where you can just slide through. Each slide explains how it works and what you need to do. But um, when you initially set it up, you'll get this list in the today, which shows you exactly what to do. So as you can see, pull down to create an item. You pull down. You can see it right there. It says release to add an item. And then you can say eat. I mean, obviously you can write whatever you want. Eat lunch and then you hit next and then here is where you can actually start setting everything up so you can have that reminder every hour obviously you wouldn't want to eat lunch every hour um, but every three hours you can change it like that you can change the sound so let me turn on my sound for a second you can change the sounds just by tapping this and then you can hear it they have different icons for each sound which is kinda cool so you can do that and then from there you can go to that clock menu and you can actually get more specific with the exact time and how often you want it to occur. So we can do whatever, 340, then you can click every day, every week, every month, whatever have you. Just once for today makes sense because it's, it's a lunch. So you click done, hit done again, and then it'll be right here and you can see in that it's kind of gray, but it'll tell you the exact time for when it's due. Um, you can go to tomorrow, someday. You can schedule them however. I mean, however you want. These are the default, which means important, less important, and obviously less important. Seeing how someday isn't actually a definitive time. Um, if you click on this tiny little square right here, it'll give you the complete list of everything, not separated into days. It's just all your reminders at once. You can click here. To access the, the little menu if you want to trash an item if you have trash an item you can find it in there you can restore it you can go back Let's just go to list um, so the gestures again if you want to edit something so watch Godfather that's another default one you can just tap it and then you can edit it from there as well so I mean, it's really, it's just really easy to use. It's pretty simple. The swipes work. So if you've completed it, you're going to swipe, short swipe, until that check comes, and you hit the check, and then it goes away. Now, if you long swipe it, it'll bring up this, and you can push it to a different day, or you can just delete it all in all. And then, obviously, when you swing here, you can star it, which means it's important, or you favorite it, so that it just um, gains I guess more importance in the in the list um, and then if you go all the way you can lock something which means it can't be deleted until you actually unlock it so if you if it's something really important and you're like ah I forget about it or whatever this will be locked so that it'll always come up until you actually do it or delete it so that's kind of a useful thing um, that's really I mean that's really the basics of the app you can go to the settings, you can turn on the sound effects, turn off, you can also sync with Evernote um, if you have that. It's a pretty useful service as well so you can sync the two together. You can um, turn on tomorrow so if you don't complete a task or if it's if you set up a task in tomorrow and it turns out to be tomorrow as in the next day it'll automatically switch to today so that it's not always tomorrow and keeps getting pushed off. Um, you can change the the clock settings to 24 hour time and you can also put on badges so that the app will have a little annoying badge sticker until you actually complete it. Um, so that's those are really the basics of the app. It's um, pretty sleek, pretty easy to use. I do find it more effective because there's just more settings that you can actually use compared to the stock, the stock one. It's actually kind of more fun to use as well. So it's called Yelling Mom. It's available for free. Check it out. 
in the iTunes store. Um, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the full tutorial on iOS Softmodder. Thanks, guys.